scientist is thinking, you know, I can do what God can do, the scientist thinks. He's thinking this as he looks at a mountain. He thinks, I have the technology, I can build a mountain. And as he was thinking of that, the heavens opened. And angels sang. And he said, Before you were in your mother's womb, I knew your name. And you say you can build a mountain as I? I shall watch. Build your mountain. And so the scientist began to build the mountain. He called his engineer friends. They managed to get labor from across the border for very little money. Bulldozers earth-moving equipment, the latest of technology that man has, and they started to build their mountain. The heavens opened, and angels sang, and God spoke. And he said, Hey, Make your own dirt. Poor science. It can't even make dirt. Game over. You know, I walk and think. Old people do that. And I was thinking this morning as I was walking Bentley. There's a lot of videos here about God. On YouTube, a lot of discussion of religion. I've never really talked an awful lot about that, partly because many of the people that subscribe to my videos are atheists, and I value those young atheists who are questioning things all of the time. So I thought I would, uh, since I teach the subject of theology, I would venture a video to talk about God. And I was thinking, why are those young atheists that subscribe to me always asking questions? Questions that they really can't answer because the answer is more than likely God. Don't panic, keep calm. I always say, don't be scared. Please don't be scared. Apologetics, that is uh, a subject that I do poorly in and it's not a subject that I really try to get involved with. So to the atheists watching, just keep calm, cool your jets, I will not hurt you, nor will I try to convert you. Actually what I want to do when I talk about God in this video is talk to the Christians. There is so much argument among Christians today. Everybody's trying to convert everybody. And I'm thinking we are all part of the body of Christ. Maybe somebody's a foot, maybe somebody's a finger. But we all, every one of us, believe in the same God. And maybe we worship in different ways. But really, we should follow what the kids do. I see so many kids with wristbands that say WWJD. It says, what would Jesus do? We ought to put that saying more in our hearts and in our minds. No wonder we have so many young atheists. What must they think? when they watch us Christians arguing all of the time. Always with our Bible in hand, preaching and yelling at them, telling them they're sinners and they're going to go to hell. And then they watch us argue and scream at each other. They must, they must be very confused and we must be the ones who are responsible for confusing them. We study we read 
and talk about the Bible all of the time when in reality we should be living the Bible. We should be a living example of love, particularly to ourselves and to our fellow brothers, even if our faiths are different. We've got to stop being so confusing and we have to be living the Word. You know, one of the sayings that I always start out when I start a class talking about this subject of religion is the entire world would be Christian. But we Christians are so unlike our Christ. I think we should stop looking at the differences that we have and start looking at the things that we have in common it would make it such a better world if we could do that. Hatred. It is not Christ-like. And to hate in the name of Christ. You know, I'm not sure what blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is, but hatred in the name of Christ is getting pretty darn close to that. You know, Hatred is an acid. It does as much damage to the vessel that contains it as it does to what it is poured on. John Michael Talbot is a singer, one of my favorite singers. He has a song called The Prayer of St. Teresa. And it, it, it talks about the fact that Christ has no body he has no hands. We are the hands. We are the ear that should be sympathetic to those that are in need. But we as Christians just don't do that. No wonder the no wonder the atheists turn their head to us. Because we have turned our head to them. Anyway, I hope I haven't offended. You know, the last video I did cost me about 25 subscribers and I gained about 35, so I'm moving ahead. And with so many years in broadcasting, I am an egomaniac. It bothers me tremendously when people leave. There was one person, though, I might add, that left and they even sent me an email to explain why. And the email said, I don't want to subscribe to somebody who wants peace. And I thought for a moment, I don't want people that don't want peace to subscribe to my videos. Anyway, I hope we've not offended today. That was not my intention. I just felt I wanted to say something about this God that I believe in and speak to my fellow Christians. You know, we spend so much time arguing. You know what we are? We are like puppies in a box. Have you ever watched puppies in a box? They fight and they argue and they growl over who's going to stay in this corner. Who's going to get that thing on mom to get the milk? They spend their whole day worrying about that. These puppies have no idea that one of these days a hand is going to move into that box and it's going to pick them up and it's going to be frisbee and doggy biscuits and walks fetching sticks on the river bank they have no idea what lies ahead for them you know that's all we are we're puppies puppies in a box and now, if you will excuse me. And I don't give a damn about a pinball collar And up as fast as I can Cause my telephone and my internet The only things that I understand Oh yeah, 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 man I really hope you catch my show Oh yeah, it's talking on the radio If you'll excuse me